out here at the shop finally got Dwayne to get something done he's been moving right along and uh we'll let you tell what he's got done here now hi there everybody uh what we got done we've got the rear end removed the cow tracks removed now what rear end did you have under this we what had is? a data 60 under it with a 410 gear all right uh, Moser 35 slot axles uh will wood disc brakes in the rear we've got that out um we removed the uh, fuel tank the fuel system, as far as the inline fuel pump and the fuel filter, we went through and we've taken out all the carpet in the car. Um, we've got two pieces left in the interior to remove so we can uh, mini tub, but they are not in the way of anything right now. So I was kind of waiting just to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the spring relocators tacked in. Once the spring relocators are tacked in, we will move on to that process too of uh, removing those two panels and find our best spot to uh, split the wheel tubs. We are going with the US Car Tool Spring Relocator Kit and a mini tub kit from the US Car Tool. We have. Um, and you had cow tracks on this, right? Yes, we did have cow tracks. We've got roughly right now. About two hours of tear down in it. I mean, the, the car come together, goes together pretty nice, and it comes together pretty nice. Um, not a lot of struggles. The biggest struggle I had is uh, whoever put the car together had a three-quarter inch fuel line on it, which was awesome, aluminum, but they ran it through the torsion bar cross member, so, and there was no splices in it anywhere, <laughs> which was a good thing, but I had to cut the fuel line basically in half to, to, to get it out. Yeah. So what we're going to do is um, get it all cleaned up and get it ready to start uh, cutting for the uh, spring relocators. And we're going to be back prob approximately when one of them gets tacked in, I know he'll put it back out there. I'm going to go ahead and clean the frame rail up and um, go to work. Yeah, we're going to get this. We're going to get this marked out, get the box lined up. Get that cut out so we can get his new new uh, wheels and tires on this, which like I said, we went to Jags the other day and got them mounted and balanced. But these is what's gonna be going on. So it's a 291005 ET ET drag ET it's a ET drag slick, not ET drag radio. But uh yeah. As soon as he gets one of these boxes in here, we'll be back and uh we'll see how he's doing on it and uh We'll get you another update here in just a few. See you.
that that'll give you a visual there of what really how to just kind of help keep it keep it straight on it. See, once that's bolted in there, then that'll just, that'll dictate where it's going to land. And So all this back here comes out. Yeah. That's what I'm saying before you go whacking on the end of it right there. Stay on this side where you can follow that line. Mm -hmm. And that way that'll keep you, keep you more straight for the box. No turning back now. <laughs> <laughs> My glasses are fucking fogging up. Yeah. Ah, piss. You're right. <laughs> <laughs>